One of my favorite uh, thinkers is not really, is this guy named Wendell Phillips, who's a radical abolitionist in the early 19th century in the United States. Most people don't consider him an anarchist, but I think if, when I read him, he's, he's pretty much an anarchist. But one of my favorite things that Wendell Phillips said is he says that the fundamental principle about the United States is that Americans believe that man needs no guardian. Phillips believes that human beings do not need a guard. He says, if you look at feudalism in Europe, yeah, they don't believe that. They believe, at least the elites believe, that someone always needs to be guiding someone else around and telling them what to do. But what he found was amazing about the United States, despite slavery, was the fundamental belief that human beings can lead themselves and can and can act for themselves and can can direct themselves and can be and can determine for themselves their fate and the, and, and the direction of their life. And the problem with slavery, of course, was that it, it was the most gross violation of that principle. And so, as someone who believed that man needs no guardian, that human beings need no guardian, he had to devote all his life and energy to smashing that system of slavery that denied that that essential principle. So when people tell me. Everyone needs a leader. Everyone needs a state. Everyone needs to be directed. I question to what, especially when you know it's mostly Americans who tell me that because that's where I live. Uh, I question to what extent they really believe in democracy. I question to what extent they really believe that human beings, not that human beings are superhuman or naturally good. I don't believe in any human nature baloney. Uh, but I believe that that human beings can basically direct themselves and organize themselves in, in, in cooperative fashion uh, without needing to be uh, kicked and bossed around by dictators and petty tyrants. And uh, if we can send people to the moon, uh, if we can develop weapons that can blow up the world multiple times over, if we can figure out a way to heat the planet so that the planet can, you know, is going to die, we can, we can come up with all those ideas. It seems to me pretty entirely possible to develop political systems that allow people uh, to have a full say in those affairs that affect their daily life without being bossed around by, by a boss or a tyrant or a ruler or some other SOP.